If you're older than 16, you're older than ICE. ICE, or Immigration and Customs Enforcement, was created in 2003 as part of post 9-11 legislation that housed immigration enforcement under the Department of Homeland Security. As of today, the law creating the United States Department of Homeland Security comes into effect. This signaled a shift towards viewing immigrants as a threat to national security. In 1996, when the country was worried about crime and drugs, immigration enforcement was understood under that lens, and Democrats conceded to legislation called IRA-IRA that made it easy to deport people for minor violations. And after 9-11, immigrants were seen as a terrorist threat. All of these pieces of legislation created the infrastructure of mass deportation that Trump has set into motion. These are people. These are animals, and we're taking them out of the country at a level and at a rate that's never happened before. He and Stephen Miller believe that through aggressive immigration enforcement against long-term residents of this country, they can terrorize people into self-deporting. As part of that strategy, ICE is detaining journalists like Manuel Duran and undermining elected politicians like Libby Schaaf. I would recommend that you look into obstruction of justice for the mayor of Oakland, California, Jeff. We need to abolish ICE. We need to stop deporting people for what is fundamentally the civil violation of being in this country without documentation. We choose as a society what is criminalized and how those laws are enforced. We don't have a militarized police force to prosecute financial crimes because the people who commit those crimes are powerful white men. We have to dismantle not just ICE, but the thousands of small offenses that put people on ICE's radar. From marijuana possession to turnstile jumping, people enter into ICE's net through overcriminalization. So I focused on a woman named Laura who had been living in the U.S. for a very long time. She was driving home one night in Texas. She was pulled over by a local cop. Um, and he decided when he learned she wasn't documented to turn her over to Border Patrol. She knew she had a violent husband back in Mexico who had been threatening to kill her if she was ever sent back. And in fact, that is exactly what happened. She was sent back across the bridge and a week later she was found dead. Deportation is a fate next to death. But in this country, we have routinized it. We have mechanized it. And now there is a movement to dismantle that machine, to understand deportation for what it is, a brutal and inhumane practice. Abolish ICE is a movement led by grassroots organizers who are putting themselves on the line every day to dismantle Trump's deportation machine. Representative Mark Pocan is introducing legislation to abolish ICE. And across the country, Occupy movements are occupying ICE offices and demanding an end to deportation. There is a movement to create an immigration system that sees immigrants not as criminals, not as terrorists, not as units of economic output, but as people.